Dr. Kim Hammond from the Falls Road Animal Hospital joins us to answer your pet questions with Lucy. Wow, this is Lucy. This is a Tibetan Terrier. Look how beautiful this dog is. This is just an amazing. She Let me give you a sort gorgeous. of a profile here. Just an incredible dog. And you know, if you want a cool Tibetan Terrier, this is a great dog, by the way. It's a yeah. great dog to own. Um, I, yeah, I know, I know, pal. <laughs> she wants and, to be hurt. Yeah. And the <laughs> thing is, you know, obviously you can see there's a little bit of work here because look at this long hair. It takes yeah. a little bit of work. So when you buy a Tibetan Terrier, you buy into a grooming you do. policy. Right, exactly. You know, That's yeah, all part one, of the You've got to do a lot of grooming. But out, an outstanding dog, and we can get them locally. And if anybody wants to buy one, you can call me at the Animal Hospital. They are not inexpensive. This is not right. the dog for everybody. <laughs> But they're worth it, worth every penny. You know what? She was completely quiet until now. So I guess this is her moment. And yeah, she's really wishing you could see her eyes. <laughs> <laughs> All right. How about some oh, questions? Well, her eyes are this way, I think. <laughs> oh, wrong side. Sorry. Oh, wrong side. <laughs> Sorry. All right. My 10 month old Mastiff seems to be going cross eyed. Is there anything I can do to correct this? Okay. So, first of all, um, it may not be going cross eyed. Sometimes what happens is there's a third eyelid in dogs and it comes out and it just makes it appears that the eyes are looking in a funny way, believe okay. it or not. But the answer to your question is run, don't walk to your veterinarian. Okay. Run, don't walk to your veterinarian. Okay. Yeah. I'm sorry, I'm laughing at Lucy because she's getting so mad. She speaks her she, parents she over there. She speaks my language. Yeah, she's like, all right, I'm done with this. Yeah. Okay, no. so my dog You're ate right. a pork bone and now doesn't want to eat anything. He doesn't seem to be in pain, but should I be concerned? Well, the answer is, did the por pork bone come out the other end? <laughs> so if it didn't come out the other end, you should be plenty concerned. But as long as it's not throwing up, you know, this is sort of interesting. When an animal eats something and it gets stuck in the stomach, it's not, uh, if, it's a, if it's a complete obstruction, it's going to start to throw up. And it might throw up six hours later, it might throw up 18 hours later. If your dog is, is fine, otherwise, I wouldn't worry about it. But you want to sort of see poop. If you don't see poop, you might have a problem. All right. Yeah. And this one about a border collie. My border collie is epileptic and usually has a seizure about every six weeks. It's been happening a lot more frequently as of late. Any advice? Yeah. The advice is this. In, in, you know, epilepsy has a lot of causes. Some are serious, some are not. And we sort of live with epilepsy in dogs if it's not happening more frequently than once a month. So you're right on the cusp here. Every six weeks, starting to increase the frequency. Uh, again, you don't want to leave brain problems mm -hmm. into just sort of your gut feeling. You want to investigate it. Dr. Larry Gainsburg is a neurologist locally. I'd give him a phone call. I'd, I'd get on board with him. I'd get a baseline, and we'd watch it. Chances are you're not going to treat it unless it's happening more frequently. Okay. But you're close. All right, thanks. Thanks, Lucy. You've been a real trooper. You ready to go home? <laughs>